You must be Taper. Are you Henry G? Yes, I am. Wow, I'm saved. Thank you. Ah! I'm not Baram, though this is an orbital frame. Stop! What's your assignment? Assignment on Mars could be very similar to yours. Out! By the way, what's your mission anyway? Quick! Enemy approaching! Well, see you later! Doesn't look any different. What's that? Viola. I don't want to fight with Viola, even if she is AI. Let's go. This is bad. We're almost at the landing point. Now, Balram's war potential is very strong, far different from when you were around. The Space Force put up a stubborn resistance. But without a major war, Mars was occupied by Balram in a flash. One month ago, the Space Force was almost wiped out except for a few remnants. We attacked Vasilia County, the Balram foothold, with the total force we had then. That was thoughtless. Certainly. We knew what was going to happen. The Space Force suffered destruction, so there's not much time to destroy the remaining forces at the enemy base. Although, we did find a special thing. That's the Vector Cannon Taper mentioned. The Vector Cannon is a weapon that delivers a high-energy wave by space compression. The outer shield of the enemy fortress Almon defends from invasion with a mass dislocation created by space compression. The Vector Cannon is the only weapon that can nullify that defense and pierce it. Urinbeck Catapult, Orbital Frame, Vector Cannon, so they're all byproducts of Metatron. It's a bad habit of mankind to want to use its new toys immediately. Don't you agree? After Dr. Hardiman died, his son Ridley, that is, Noman, took over command of the plan. He then made a full-scale model. 
Almon is a huge military fortress that uses a great amount of Metatron to construct weapons of mass destruction. When it is fully operational, it won't make sense for Earth to send any amount of forces against it. Almon will have over a million times the power of Anubis, and you've seen the damage that can do. Can you imagine what it will be like? Why did Noman want to get Jehuti? He's already got a great weapon, hasn't he? Actually, Anubis and Jehuti were developed as part of the Almon plan. What do you mean? Those two were a key element in starting Almon. That plan was made by Dr. Hardiman. Only those two machines can make Almon move or stop. So, Noman has already got Anubis. He probably thinks Jehuti is a bother. He either wants it, or wants it destroyed. Normally, Anubis and Jehuti have the same abilities, so only Jehuti can fight against Bara more potential, which was much increased through the technological research of Anubis. Time no see. You remember me? Yes, the data is a perfect match with the previous runner. <laughs> you haven't changed a bit. You're the owner of this frame, aren't you? That's right. We obtained the device driver of the subweapon gauntlet. It stuns enemies to a distance by physical impact.